Hey everybody, Texas Stroke Air Alliance's performance shop along with StarMopars.com. It is a strange thing, Harbor Freight Tool All 17. It's one that just like kind of never got recorded or was titled differently, so I've got them stacked up. I think I last night did like 26 or something. And I haven't been releasing them because I needed 17, right? And I kind of think 17 should have been like the U.S. General Orange Accessories. But I decided, I guess for whatever reason, not like do a tool haul on that, just title it. And subsequently, I've got like 18, 19, all these other ones just waiting for me to figure out what to do with 17. And I think I decided what to do. So even though everything after this will have come way before this, let me go ahead and drop this in. This is something that I picked up, I think. Probably about as soon as it hits stores. I just happened to be in one and I uh, had to actually have someone check and they found it in the back and uh, cashed in on it. It's quite difficult to showcase here. But this is a US General Magnetic Power and Air Tool Holder. So uh, this is only currently available in black. I'm sure that's kind of like their default go to, goes with everything, of course. Uh, regardless of the color, they've got, you know, like the complete rainbow Skittle collection available. And whatever color you may have or prefer, the black is going to complement it. That's just how black works. So I'm thinking if this is something that's like a big seller or takes off, they'll probably slowly expand it into other colors. Probably start with the more common ones, you know. But uh, I kind of think it's going to be good. And there's sort of... The advertised way of using this and the unadvertised way of using this. So, uh, the part number is 58536. Again, I'll have this linked. I make nothing off of that. It's just there if you want to check it out online. I would recommend, unless you're like way, way far away from a Harbor Freight, buy everything in store. Uh, don't, don't go online. Bad things happen. So, uh, if you're, like I said, hours out and it just makes sense, sure, go ahead and pull the trigger. But uh, you can check out the specs, see reviews, whatever you want to before you decide to pull the trigger. So, uh, the way this is advertised, it is a three-hole configuration. There's one jumbo and two standard. I'm not quite sure which is which. We'll have to get it out of the box. Durable rubber-coated magnets. They allow for the holder to grip tight to metal and protect any finish. I will vouch for you as general, like their accessories. Paper towel holders, I have at least one side on and off all the time when I refill it. Uh, the parts dishes, uh, the spray can holder, the screwdriver holder, the tray, I've got a ton of them. And I occasionally do move them back and forth or from box to box. They truly do not take the finish off the box. So old Craftsman, black kind of thick textured husky. And of course, the new U.S. General's carts and boxes we brought in, uh, all of them are unfazed, so they truly do do a good job on these U.S. General accessories. And as you can see here, they claim, bottom line, it works with all U.S. General roll cabinets. Coming around to the side panel, you can kind of get a better look at the product. I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking the middle hole might be bigger, and these match up. There's like a wicked glare. That's not from the camera or me. That's like their product photo. Uh, same exact selling points on the side panel right here on the back again you kind of get a better look at what's going on here so they've got the Bauer the earthquake and then a Hercules you can configure this however you want to if you want all pneumatic stuff if that's all you run in your shop if you want it all battery powered uh, we'll try to test fit some different things here to see what happens but uh, once again, same selling point, so we can save some time. And right here, this side panel is slightly different, so we'll take a look at it. So again, same bullet points, if you will, and uh, just oriented a little bit differently. So I guess all that's left is for us to open this thing. And yes, fear not, uh, this is something that we'll actually mock around and play with now. The way they're showcasing this is great. You know, it makes sense. You've got your roll card or a toolbox or something, and you can just kind of flip this over the edge and go to town. But I have something else in mind. I may try it like this. If I like it, I might pull the trigger on another one. I'd kind of like to see them expand this for, like, smaller tools like air ratchets and stuff. Uh, there appears to be hardware. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, just open this bag and kind of see what's going on. So, case in point, so you know I'm not pulling any shenanigans on you. We'll set this guy down. And, uh, what is this? I'm going to hand him this little bag to pull out a bag. It's got <laughs> uh, spacers and screws. Interesting. So, you get three of them. 
and uh, let's kind of bring you down here I guess so this is what you're looking at again maybe you know these will take off and go into other colors it's as you can tell quite a high gloss black the way this would work uh, this lip it's got a pretty good lip right here kind of where my fingertips are disappearing that would latch over your sidewall of your box whether it's the back of the box back of the cart sidewall Whatever, keep in mind if you got a shelf or a handle, you're gonna have to factor that in. You know, it's gonna limit what you can do with it. Um, back here, we've got the rubber coated magnets again, uh, very soft and supple, shouldn't do any damage. Right here, we've got the holes. Here, uh, we've just got like spacers, I guess, or something. Uh, there, let's see, the only threaded holes are going to be here. Is that a ribbon? No, that's a screw. So this is going to be hard for you to tell, but this is a screw head, okay? So I'm guessing what would happen if for whatever reason this didn't clear where you were putting it, they even included an adapter kit. So we would essentially take this magnet off with a screwdriver, and then we would put the spacer, and then I'm sure you'd have to obviously have the magnet again, uh, unless of course you're like permanently mounting this or something, but those are the only holes this product so what I'm gonna do now is grab a couple of power tools and we'll take a gander at it uh, the middle hole is the big hole that's probably smart but uh, just kind of give you a rough idea just shy of a two and a half inch OD for the sidewall I'm sure this is gonna be the same thing uh, is <laughs> and right here it's about three inches so I think you can kind of see that decently what I'm gonna do is just grab some power tools and we're gonna set them in place and kind of see what they do um, you could possibly nest a ratchet in there if you really wanted to kind of slide them through the keyhole style but uh, we'll go with what they say they want and see what we think all right so not gonna lie i've got a lot of my stuff like in the trunk of the challenger or at work so we're sort of limited on what we can do here it may not be the most aesthetically pleasing thing that you could ever look at but we'll populate it so up first with a massive five amp hour battery will be our uh, hercules half inch impact thing still been great if anyone is curious i'll tell you right now i had hoped keep in mind the long neck is the one in the bag and uh, it's the filthy one I had sort of hoped that this would like somehow drop down and that's just not going to happen even with these smaller 12 volt batteries and I know what you're thinking like hey take that off and technically you could do something weird like that it's obviously not ideal not you know space savings it's a shame these outside holes aren't just a little bit bigger because I would totally do that if I could just stand this up like that it would be awesome uh, and you're thinking like oh, just put it on the top of the box idiot I totally agree but there are times like if you've got the lid up and you've got your you know the hutch populated you've got a situation where if your side tray is full with parts or whatever you're working on it would be nice to have this sort of expand your storage like the shelf uh, but give you a flat surface for something like this ratchet so uh, that is one of the things i do like about the hercules ratchets they stand vertically but um, that aside you can see uh, this would be our battery powered impact and we can kind of nest it here just fine we can nest it there just fine and it sort of drops down here it obviously kicks itself back a little bit more in terms of our other battery powered tools we'll take the trusty old rigid impact and uh, drop it down in place as you can see these smaller holes fit these a little bit better let's try to tilt you up so you can kind of this is awkward to get it all in the frame and then here you've got the drill which is going to have obviously the chuck which needs the greater depth come in boom so let me elevate the camera for you that sort of gives you a good look at what you can expect and I gotta say, it's not bad. The price on this thing, if I didn't mention, was $19.99, which I think is okay. Uh, it is a lot of metal. It is powder coated nicely. It does include the three magnets. So, I mean, yeah. Would I rather see it at 9 or 15 Absolutely. But I don't think 19 is out of line. Uh, 25 you'd kind of be pushing it. But uh, what we will do now, I guess, is run this over maybe to the 44-inch U.S. Generals. And I'll probably have to move some stuff around. And then we will run it over to the carts maybe i'm not sure it's going to clear i've got the handle on one side of the master tech and the shelf we modified on the other i still have the orange four drawer out here i guess we could try it there we'll try it on everything just so you kind of have a good feel for it and then i'll show you what i 
probably I'm going to wind up doing with it if it works. So uh, let's uh, change locations and see what we got. All right, so we're kind of a mess over here from working on the headers and various things. I did have to move a few items. That's what's nice about the uh, rubber magnets. But I want to highlight this. This is uh, not what I had planned, but I, after seeing it, I'm kind of liking it. So keep in mind these U.S. General, the 44s, are dueling boxes, if you will. They're right by my door. So, I mean, like the door is here, boxes are here, the door swings in this area. I had to pull a few things, reorganize them. Sweet little Mopar parts tree. Uh, U.S. Generals and these are kind of the bee's knees in my opinion. <laughs> so, check that out. So yeah, would it be cool if it was blue? Absolutely. Would the blue look terrible with the rigid orange? Yeah. Does the black look better with the rigid? Yes. Does the black go with Hercules? Yes. Will it go with your Dewalt? Yes. Will it go with your Milwaukee? Yeah. Makita? Yep. Again, that's the pro of black. If you just have to customize everything, if you're like the lime green guy, Take this, send it off, get it powder coated in your custom color. I mean, at that price point, $19.99, you can kind of swing it. Now, I do, as I said, these are always on and off. I still, uh, for anyone wondering, like, this is weird. I usually do the paper towels the other way. I actually do like this one being vertical. It just works well. But uh, anyway, man, this is... Uh, this is nice. Not only is it like a good fit with my junk tables over here, but I'm kind of thinking, and this will vary by the depth of your box and everything. I've got that little can holder over there. That thing comes in super handy too. It's got glass cleaner, which I use for all kinds of things, not glass. <laughs> but, uh, I think I could fit two of these here. Uh, I'm actually going to get some measurements on this and we'll kind of, you know, see if we could do that in theory. Obviously we only have one. But this would be super handy, like case in point, it's windy as all get out today. It hasn't taken the fence down, but when it does, I always have to come in here and I have to get my little rigid and the VHA nut setters, uh, go to town. If I'm ever like changing tires for people, I don't typically do that here on the shop driveway because it's crushed rock. I do it on the cement at the house and so I'd have my impact handy. This is a pretty cool setup and it's right by the door. That might be why I'm like fangirling so much about it and obviously you can change locations and that's a moot point but what I'm gonna do uh, I do oh the Black Widow is here fantastic so I'm gonna have to freehand this uh, we'll set you down here enjoy that beautiful angle that's out of focus but uh, let's get a shot kind of of the depth of the box it's going to be right at 22 inches back wall to this front side wall. I know you can't see the 22. Trust me, wouldn't lie, wouldn't mislead you. The black here, dead gum. It's 11 and a half. So it's not going to work. I can't like side stack these like I had hoped to. Um, is there a chance this could slide off? Uh, no, I don't think it can. This is a really nice lip right here. As you can see, it's going all the way down to the mat. It's so close though. Uh, obviously we need a second unit to try that out, but um, if you have something that's 24 inches deep, you could stack two of these on the side. Obviously the back, a lot of people would be home free. Granted, some people have their box against a wall like I do here. But if you are free floating, you know, if you go bay to bay or, you know, you drive your little car all across the shop to whatever it needs to go to you, that backside is a lot of real estate for, you know, big items, pry bars, extensions, uh, really long breaker bars, all kinds of good stuff. These could certainly go there as well. So anyway, I'll give you one more look at this so you can kind of get a feel for it. And again, I think it's just the proximity to the door that's got me so excited here. <laughs> so it does fit. As you can see, in this case, we needed absolutely nothing to do with the spacers. I'm guessing based on the way that drill is in there, let's say that we had something with a longer chuck uh, or like a really huge impact that that middle slot wouldn't clear, maybe that's when you would use the spacers and uh, relocate the magnets. Not 100% sure, but uh, it is what it is there. What we'll do now is take this over to the Master Tech and the four door. I'm not... You know what? As I look at the Master Tech, we've sunk that tray down so far on the sidewall of the box. It may actually fit. So uh, let's go ahead and head over there. One more thing, though. <laughs> These little Ghidorah pin punches. Uh, this is just a sanding roll. Obviously, it's not adhered very well or anything, but they work super good for the sanding rolls. Just 
random tip while we're over here. With that said, I'm gonna carry this thing over and we'll check it out. All right, before you get too excited, <laughs> technically it would clear, like, you know, I could slide this hardware box out and it would clear the shelf, but you've effectively eliminated a vast chunk of your shelf. Now, obviously, if you don't use a shelf all the time, swing it. Uh, our other thing, we can come over here <laughs> And uh, we'll try it, but I think the handle is going to interfere. And, uh, of course, on this box, we don't have the ability to use the back. I also don't think it's going to work on the sidewall, but we will try it. So, once again, I'm kind of freehanding this. So, I'll grab this. We'll try to position it elsewhere, and we'll see what we think of it. But, uh, like I said, if you're willing to sacrifice a shelf, if you want the shelf lower... Um, it's kind of up to you what you would do, but this gives you an idea of what it would look like on the sidewall of the Master Tick. All right, so that lip, it's just, it ain't happening. It's too thick, which is a good thing, but it's bad in this instance. However, the surprise right here, this, uh, believe it or not, actually clears the handle. Now, obviously, if you move the cart frequently, uh, this would be an annoyance, but I mean, my hand is totally... I mean, knuckles up, I'm able to go, it's a very awkward camera angle, but I mean, I'm able to go all the way across. You could possibly also flip the bar and have that kind of like bullhorn down facing towards the ground, but I mean, check that out. <laughs> it, uh, it does clear, so uh, if this is something that would benefit you, you want a shelf on one side, you want this on the other, go to town. So uh, let's quickly, I've got the little hazette here, and I'm going to measure this sidewall. So again, this way so you can kind of see what we're working with. That is just, this is terrible for, it's not like the Black Widow for you to see, but 11 and a half-ish. <laughs> so this sidewall with usable real estate, it's going to be just a little short of fitting two of these, which is a buzzkill. Um, <laughs> it's what it is. But, I mean, man, you know, you're going to have your most frequently used. You know, for a lot of people, this might be like a big old pneumatic for tough stuff. You're battery powered, you know, for everything else. And then you might have a 3 8 Some of you, it might be 3 8 and quarter. Uh, so whatever you're doing, this can certainly work. And, I mean, I've, to be totally honest with you, carried this as one unit. You know, I just grab here and carry it. And the, you know, tools have stayed in place just fine. So what we'll do now is check it out on the sidewall of that guy that I think will become a detail cart, but I'm not sure. So let me step over there and we'll see what we've got. All right, so while this technically fits, clearly you couldn't ever dream of fitting two across the sidewalls of this thing. You could put one on each sidewall, the handle would be in the way, it's a total different design than the Master Tech. I've got to highlight this because if you think, hey, I've got a four drawer, the five drawer would be really similar possibly a better fit. Uh, I don't have a five drawer here to test sadly, but what I want to show you in case you are someone that would roll your four drawer about, if it's not stationary, this could be a problem. The magnets, while I mean, we've got, <laughs> I'll say 100% of surface, you know, available for contact. We have probably one and a half percent of the magnet making contact across there on all three. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it is fairly sturdy in part because of how far that overlaps, but man, I don't, I honestly, I don't think you'd have trouble, but I mean, in terms of pulling the tools out and everything, it's something you'd kind of want to be careful with for a while, and then once you've kind of had, you know, like a day or two of experience, you'd be like, hey, this is actually going to stay, but... It will technically fit, it's just not adhering very well. Obviously, you could come in, you could run a piece of flat bar across, uh, you could extend the magnets up, you know, there's ways you could modify it and make it a better fit. Uh, but it does, as issued, actually fit. I do think the majority of the holding is being done from the top down here. Um, so if you could get the magnets to offer their support, you'd kind of be home free on this front. So that's sort of three options. We've shown a U.S. General 44-inch. We've shown the U.S. General 34-inch Master Tech. We've shown a four-drawer. What I'm going to do now is not advertised by Harbor Freight, but I think a very viable solution and kind of what I bought this for. Prior to seeing it right there by the door, what I'm about to show you is what I had in mind when I saw this thing. All right, so since I was standing at the Master Tech, I thought, hey, 
I'm going to try it here. <laughs> and, uh, if you try to drape it over the edge of the drawer, it just it doesn't drop down or seat correctly, I think, because of the way the rails clip in. You could probably find a sweet spot, but it's ultimately not going to shut because of the back end of your impact or drill or whatever you're storing. It does sit and nest here. However, some of you probably already know what the problem is. I had to pull a lot of stuff out of this drawer that you couldn't see yet, by the way, but yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> so uh, I kind of think the US General 44s will be too shallow too. So uh, I might check that real quick and then we'll move on to kind of what I had in mind. All right, for those of you wanting to see the blue US General 44, it's not happening. The drawer is almost tall enough to accommodate this. But again, when you add in the backside of your tool, it's just a kind of a lost cause. So before we head to the ultimate destination here, I kind of want to highlight this one more time. 11 and a half inches is going to be our width. Okay. In terms of the cantered angle, if we uh, can get this positioned well, we're going to call that just shy of 10 inches. Uh, that rigid is not wanting to cooperate with me. So basically nine and three quarter with the angle of the offset, you're basically just shy of 10 inches. Now this is the big one that we haven't measured yet that we should have. I actually did it just a second ago, but if you can kind of see over here, trying to turn the tape so you can, that's just a tick over five and a half for the height. The problem is once you put these tools in place, look what happens. I mean, we go up to like almost a foot in some cases. Obviously, this Hercules is sunk down real nice. But that'll sort of be your limitation if you're going for in the drawer. Now, if this is open air storage, it doesn't matter. You could have the back end come out here. You know, uh, whatever fits there and whatever has the three quarter impact, whatever it may be. I mean, you can sky's the limit. Literally, you're you're limited by the ceiling of the shop. So. Uh, let me though, however, take you somewhere where I know this will fit. I don't know how well it's going to fit or how well it'll match what I had in my mind, but it will definitely fit and it might give you some more ideas for this product. All right. So right here, the big deep drawer on the left-hand side of the Husky, we've got a box, the original box for those rigid tools. I honestly keep them in their, uh, little lunch box, you know, the soft side of the lunch box deal. And they're typically in the truck. But uh, it was kind of a pain for me to get it over on the sidewall like I wanted to run it. Uh, so I just did the front wall, if you will. It's not centered because I've got a battery and some other crud down there. But this gives you an idea. And the cool thing here, we actually shut. Okay, that's, that's a perk. That's something we've not been able to accomplish. <laughs> now, this is not the deepest of drawers, if you will. Very deep height-wise, but not necessarily going back to the wall. If you really wanted these things like organized or hanging or you want the ability to hang them on your cart during the day and then lock them in a box, this is kind of the ticket. Now, what I had in mind is this longer drawer right here. I was thinking like, man, I could fit several of these. And, uh, that's honestly why I bought it after seeing it in the drawer. It's not as cool of a fitment as I thought like space savings wise I could just stand these up or lay them down myself and I have a much smaller footprint and I don't have near as much wasted space if you kind of catch my drift um, this is very viable like I said I think the best ticket is either a it's just open air you know and it fits the side of your box maybe you can fit two side by side if you got like a bigger box or, as I just mentioned, you want it open air on the site. You get there in the morning, you unlock your box, you throw these on your cart, they're ready to go at your bay or whatever. Uh, roll around whatever you have to repair, and then at the end of the day, roll your cart back to your main box, put it in this drawer, lock it up. I think that is probably the ticket with this item. If you're super paranoid about like storage and you think, I would... I would pay the 20 bucks to have my impacts and drills sit like this as opposed to just stand in the box or lay flat or, you know, stand on each other. It's also a viable option. I, again, I originally bought it for like in drawer storage. I thought it would be really cool. Uh, and it might, I still might wind up in this drawer putting a couple of those. It'll just kind of depend uh, on sort of how things pan out once I get everything situated. But Honestly, right now, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of thinking this is going to go back on that U.S. General right by the door. And uh, 
I, I think that's just kind of the sweet spot for me. This is what I had planned. You know, something similar to this, obviously, in this drawer, not this one. Uh, it was just easier for me to clear this one out to kind of showcase it. But I do think these have potential. Again, the number one selling point is just if it's your home shop, you don't have to lock anything down. Uh, if it's work, you know, and you just employees have free reign or, you know, your coworkers aren't going to screw with your stuff. No one's going to steal it. That's awesome. Otherwise, as I mentioned, come in, unlock, put this on your cart, roll about, come back, lock it up. Everything's secure. Second shift, third shift, doesn't take your stuff, whatever it may be. So let me know, what do you think of this product from US General? Would you buy it and how would you utilize it? Would it be something like this in a deep drawer? Would it be stationary on your side cart? Is it gonna go from roll cart to main box to be locked up? Uh, is it gonna be kept by the door? Is it gonna be kept you know, for convenience? I mean, like if you're a tire change place, I mean, picture this on the cart right by the door, <laughs> you know? Uh, it certainly, I think, has its strengths and weaknesses. <clears throat> and for 19 I think you can kind of take a gamble on it. If you're interested in it, the $20 mark, I don't think that's cost prohibitive for anybody. So that's the good news. If you love this and you're going to buy a ton of them, leave a comment. Let us know what colors you want to see them in. Maybe Harbor Freight. Like I said, if I'm sure if these take off, you know, you'll be able to get them in blue, red, orange, green, yellow, eventually white and gray. <laughs> you know, those, those always seem to straggle behind, but... Uh, yeah, so ironically, this was not an advertised usage in a drawer. It's kind of what I wanted to do, but after seeing it on the side of the box, I think I might do that. <laughs> I don't know, maybe some of you will have seen this and be like, that's going to be perfect on the side of my box. And then I showcase it here in the drawer and you're like, that's totally what I'm doing. So uh, let me know if you pick one of these up, what are you going to do with it? How do you like it after a couple of days? Uh, you're going to buy more of them again. You could absolutely, if, especially if you've got the depth, if you've got like a true 24 inch deep or deeper drawer, you could stack two of these on each sidewall and you've got six tools per sidewall really, really nicely organized. Uh, I'm sure if you took the time, you could route like the cords and the chargers and everything, you know, have it plugged in and whatnot as well. But for me, this is what I planned, albeit in a different drawer, but I think it's going to go on the... <laughs> on the U.S. General by the door. So uh, with that said, let me know your thoughts on this thing. Pretty cool. And again, 20 bucks, I think is a fair price. So uh, LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. With that said, I got to get myself in front of a fan. It is hot out here. It's not that bad outside with the breeze, but there ain't a breeze in here. <laughs> it's taking a toll on me. So uh, I'm going to wrap this up, get the box cut down. That's honestly, number one, I needed Tool Hall 17. Number two, I needed the box cut down. So uh, we'll call this good. And uh, hopefully, I mean, hey, this way, instead of having to wait 10, 12 videos to see this, you get to see it now since it's still relatively new. And uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy it. Maybe some of y'all go pick one up and really appreciate it. But uh, with that said, LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. With that said, thanks for watching, have yourself a fantastic week, and I hope I catch you back here for more action from the shop.